tragedy struck Hampton University just a little over a year ago. Hi, uh, hello. Hi, everybody. I'm, I'm Darbert there. I'm a fourth year journalism major from North New Jersey. What happened on September 16th in the Harbors apartment complex? Regular Harbors night, regular Harbors weekend, of course. Um, several Harvard's parties was going on at the time. Um, I left out of a Harvard's party and um, I actually traveled to a friend of mine's house. And as I'm leaving my friend of mine's house to return back to my home, um, I was walking down the alleyway when I heard the shots ring out. Once I heard the shots ring out, I immediately began running. And when I, when I ran, I ended up in front of my door. Crazy part about it is I didn't even know that I was actually uh, wounded. I didn't know I was shot. I seen my face dripping, like, and uh, a friend of mine was telling me, like, yeah, like, yo, bro, you got shot, like, you got shot. So you're with Daryl the night of the accident. Yeah, I was, I was, I was walking. It was like right here, like, really pulled the trigger front. He pointed for like two, or three seconds. And then when I got like to Daryl's door, I shot in the face. Okay. I seen the whole, his whole face swollen already. Ran across the grass like this. As I ran across the grass to come under the underpass. I came on the underpass, I ducked my head right here. This is when I was shot, when I ducked my head to go under the underpass. And I went under the underpass. And when I got in front of my door, I had a bullet wound in my face. My close friends were there immediately. Um, mm -hmm. So the support I received from my very close peers here was, was tremendous. Um, the detective came to see me, um, and Dr. Emmett came to see me. Dr. Emmett is the I, I believe she's the dean of judicial affairs here, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. But yeah, she came to see me in the hospital to figure out what was going on and the situation, and you know. Okay. So she came on like behalf of Hampton University, right? Pretty much, right? Yeah. So on February 21st, 2018, alumni, faculty, student board members, and Dr. Harvey filled the student center ballroom to hear students voice their current issues on going on campus. I was actually at the meeting and I noticed you were, you know in line trying to get on the mic, but it seems like Dr. Emmett and a lot of other administration were trying to keep you off the mic. All right, I'm gonna just go anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, hold on now. They okay. said that. <laughs> Let's be fair. You see, they know. These young they ladies were standing probably for about 45 minutes. I'm gonna need you to sit down. Wow. And the young lady who was next is, are you working on who is, who's next? Do you know why? Um, definitely, I definitely know why why I, they didn't want me to be on the mic. Um, Hampton has a way of kind of sometimes they have a bad habit of kind of sweeping things under the rug when things happen here for those who may not know. The question that students is what is the truth going to be told? I sat there and I heard Dr. Harvey tell that student that none of the students that got shot were victims. Dr. Emmett came to see me in the hospital, sat there and didn't say anything. Let's go! Once I was in line, you know, I seen the administration kind of switch up. It was kind of a mood change, you know, because they kind of knew that I was a student. Right. And even once the town hall was held, I was a student then, even though I wasn't financially clear the semester before. And I would have been financially clear had I not gotten shot, but... The young man is absolutely right. I did go visit him. And at that... And at that time, he was not enrolled at the university. Oh, Are you? He was not yes, he a was. student. Yes, he was. He was in my class. Financially <laughs> clear or not, I was a student at the time of the town hall, so I felt like it was kind of a slap in the face for them, for the president to sit there and say, "Right, like a not student. a student." But yeah, so. Um, they definitely knew that. Um, Dr. Emmett was definitely aware of that because she came to the hospital to see me and she looked me up after that. But um, my issue was, if I weren't a student, why did you come visit me in the hospital? Right. So that was my issue. So you had to be aware of something. Your incident was the turning point for the Harbors as far as beefing up the security and everything else? Absolutely. Absolutely. I feel the sole responsibility for why the Harbors is the way it is now. Because of the incident, security has been beefed up tremendously. If you never knew what happened, like you would think they was doing too much, but they probably not just cost the shift up like a student got shot in the face and, all, and somebody else got killed out here too. So I guess you could say they're doing their job. How did Hampton University respond to this situation? Well, <clears throat> after me leaving the hospital, 
the crazy part about it, I never seen, I never spoke or seen anybody else from, in terms of Hamptons faculty and staff, I never spoke with them again. Like, um, I spoke with my teachers and everything like that, but as far as st higher staff goes, I never spoke with anyone after I spoke with Dr. Emmett in the hospital that day. I wouldn't say that all faculty is against us because that's definitely, I don't, I don't believe that's true. Right. I don't believe anybody believes that's true. But uh, I definitely think it's important for everybody to understand exactly what's going on here and exactly what's being told to you and also what's not being told to you. Probably what I learned a lot from this situation, probably what I learned, not I wouldn't say the most, but I definitely learned a lot from that, just understanding what's not being told, you know what I mean? And, and I felt like it was important for my peers to know what was going on and, and, and the people at Hampton, because I definitely received a, a lot of support from my fellow peers at Hampton and, and I'm very thankful for that. But just understand what's going on, like really understand, don't just go based off of what you hear, you know what I mean? Right. Understand, get dig deep to really what's being told to you and what's not. All right, thank you, Daryl.